Hi there, the Sultan of Silver here with you. I have a great beard whitening and brightening hack for guys with white, silver, and gray beards. And it's something you probably haven't thought of. I didn't think of it till about two weeks ago, and I've been doing it ever since I started growing the longer mustache. And I come home every night from work, and I like a glass of wine. And if I didn't handlebar that day, guess what happens? The wine goes through the white mustache, turns it red. Coffee, tea, whatever. And I'm not into putting like a Mogard or something like that on my cup. I guess occasionally I have that uh, silicone one that looks like a handlebar mustache, but I just don't carry that with me everywhere I go. So I just kind of deal with it and wipe and wet wipes and towels and stuff like that. But one of the things that I have done is I've put hydrogen peroxide on it, but it's watery. It flows, it's just like spraying water on your mustache or on your beard. But I found something that is strong, has a whitening effect, will not harm the hair. It will not harm the hair. And it's this right here. Teeth whitening gel. The active ingredient is hydrogen Peroxide, one of the most researched chemicals on the face of this earth as far as safety is concerned. What I do is I take a little bit out and I use that much. Can you see that on my finger? There we go. Like that. That's it. Like a lima bean. I'm not going to put it on me now. Let me just scrape it off here a little bit. And then what I do is I just put it, I'm not putting it on now, but just for demonstration purposes, I put it through, put it through, put it through. I go all the way to the bottom, okay, to the roots, and guess what? That coffee mustache, the wine, red wine mustache, boom, becomes white in five minutes. Now, it says for tougher stains for teeth to put it on and let it, stand for 15 or 20 minutes. So what are you going to do? You don't want you don't want this dropping on any other dark colors. You don't want it on a shirt. You don't want it on your jeans. Uh, you don't want it dripping anywhere. And don't put it on so it drips. It's a gel. What's nice, it's hydrogen peroxide in a gel that stays on so it adheres to the mustache. I mean, put it on and while you're sitting on the can. I mean, that's just, hey, right there. There's 10 minutes right there, okay? Put it on while you are uh, filling up your bathtub or put it on while, like, whatever, okay? But do that and, I mean, look at my stash, okay? It's white. Believe me, this morning, last night I had wine, this morning I had coffee, and it's been kind of a struggle. But the five-minute teeth whitening gel that you get at Walmart for $5, that's going to last me a year will keep this baby looking good. And that's one of the reasons why I obsessively trim it is because to me, I hate that yellowy, like that yellowy mustache that just looks like, you know, it just looks gnarly, that golden, brassy, dirtyish, aqua lung looking thing. So try that. Five minute whitening gel. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's not gonna harm your beard. Peroxide is, like I said, one of the most researched compounds in the in the world there's nothing wrong with using it the regular strength hydrogen peroxide will run off because it's like water the, the the strong stuff that you buy at a beauty supply store will actually start to deteriorate the hair and as it lifts all color it also weakens the structure of the hair so be careful of that because what happens is a lot of those guys end up with breakage Talk to any of these Santa Claus guys, and they will tell you that when they whiten their beard using peroxide, that it gets very brittle, and they have to do a, a deep, uh, kind of like a deep oil treatment, deep conditioning treatment with heat and with a, with a cap. So think about that. Five-minute whitening gel that you would normally put on your teeth with a little, you know, mouth guard kind of thing to whiten your teeth is perfect on your stash. I wouldn't put it anywhere else, Just and it's... You know, since it's designed to go in your mouth, don't worry if you get some on your lips or in your mouth. You'll be fine. Your mustache will be white, silver, or gray the way that it's supposed to be.
I hope that's a tip that really helps. It's a power tip as far as I'm concerned. Thanks a lot. Bye.